Hi, this is Axiom, and I'm back here doing a quick foundry prep video. At the moment, I tend to not make videos that are just covering every bit of prep I do. I think this one might have a few good ideas in it for you all. So I keep coming back to theater of the mind scenes. When I used to prep, I used to have a map for uh, almost everything. I don't think there was much of a gain to it, is the honest truth. I've been moving more and more towards having these sort of theater of the mind sort of screens for most of the game. I've just been working on a new format for one for when you get to towns or cities, etc. And I thought it might make an interesting video. So what we actually have here is is the main screen is my my GM screen that I actually do the uh, the game from. And in the bottom right hand corner, I've got the monks common display output showing what the view is for the stream, etc. I know a lot of people just do it generally from their main GM screen or from a player's point of view. But I do like having the control that um, Monk's Common Display actually has for this sort of thing. And there is now an option for having a fixed output for a for certain scenes, etc., which I'm using here to make the layout work nicely. So obviously all around the padding, I have all of the tokens, etc., that could be in the scenes. And I have the player's tokens. They can drag them onto the scene and be in the scene if needed and things like that. And then really mostly things are built up from having a couple of tiles on the on the back here of the actual scene there's a sort of a fade in side tile or that just covers a little bit of the actual the city tile on the other side if that makes sense so it just helps blend that into a to a background quite nicely and then obviously there's a frame for the for the pictures of the active scenes so it's nice and easy to swap out this back city uh, for another one um, very very quickly if need be for making up a new scene which will be quite nice going forward. And then, as with most of this, tend to do this with active tile triggers to make most of things, most of this stuff work. I've started to get to the point where now we're in mid-journey, I tend to generate a image for every kind of scene that's coming up in the actual, or, or that I can think of for the actual episode. You know, I go through and make up my prompts and try and generate all of the images I need, etc. It doesn't take me too long to, to build that these days. Then I have a perfect sort of background image for a scene, which sort of uh, helps quite nicely. And then what I'm tending to do now to try and make it obvious uh, what NPC is talking, I tend to have another active tile above that allows me to actually hide some of this text and also to bring on the some character portraits for the NPCs that they may, might be talking with. So it's just a little bit more obvious when I'm not always doing great voices for uh, for everyone. I do like to have uh, a bit more of this going on as well. So it's going to be uh, more obvious what's going on. But yeah, it's not dramatic to set some of this up. I've got a few obviously art assets in here that are helping just fl flesh out the scene a little bit. And that's just this is just some um, stream overlay type stuff that are around. This is just a WebM video that's just making a little bit of uh, extra sort of detail on the screen, which I quite like the look of. They're all, they're all just little little flourishes. So most of my session, barring when they need when they do need a battle map, will be on these sort of fixed scenes. So it's almost like I make one of these up per session now, and then that will that will allow me to run run through the session reasonably well. So let's just have a quick reminder of what's going on here to make this work with the active tile triggers. So if I go through to the tile controls here, what we have is if we go and click on the the main tile I have here. This one doesn't actually have any triggers going on as such, but if we go under the triggers tab, which is coming up from obviously from monks, there's no uh, active things going on or any any anything like that. But there is this extra section here of images, and the, the key thing is is that you just have to have a correct order of these images that you want to trigger. So starting from one, two, three, going up here. So that's is all you need to do for that that mat, that tile to get that ready to go. And then the other side of it is purely I'm making these all a double click to actually happen up here. These are actually button, but active tiles doing the button triggers to change the image. And if we go in here and have a quick look at one of these just to see what's actually going on. And we go down to the, the triggers section here and the actions. If I go in and edit what's going on in here. So we have a switch tile image and I've used Tagger to um, make sure that that tile is named up in a way that will make sense so if it's the tag of tile one and we can see it's to change to image two so what all I've gone in here and done is I've gone use Tagger and then told it use tile one and what 
the key bit of information. So that this is be this will pay dividends if you're making more than one scene. Is that if I go back in here and we go to the basics of this one, we can see that this is the only tile in the in the whole scene that's um, tagged up with this tile one tag. So now though that with tagger that that will always work no matter what if we copied the scene or anything like that rather than if you were using the uh, the actual tile ID or anything like that and that will work every time and then the we can have a look here at what's going on with the NPC ones which is this a little bit more but not not by a vast amount if we go and look and see what's going on on one of these tiles here we can see it's got a trigger here and we go through to its actions. So it's doing that switch tile image. And then in this case, I've done tagging of um, token display, um, which is obviously the invisible one over here has got this token display tag in it. Uh, so that is with tagger that's doing that. But if we go back in here and we can see that its other one is it's doing hide and there's a tag of text. So what I've done is all of these um, sections here for the text and the lines on the map they are given uh, they are given the tag of text and then they so basically as these scenes are being triggered you can on the invisible one it is unhiding all of the text and on the one where the npc comes through they're actually uh, hiding all of those and it's they're coming through properly on the on the mainstream if you're looking on that section on the bottom corner and um, yeah, it'll it just tie these up, everything like that. So you're just doing switch of image and some hiding of some text. And obviously you can build on this if you need. If you need to add extra um, flourishes or lights or other bits that need to be shown, you can add add more to it. But this is kind of where I'm going to go for, um, for an, the next little while on these sort of theater of the mind sort of scenes and see how it goes. I hope it's at least a little bit useful. Thanks again for listening. Please like and subscribe for more.